Hello again, this is Andrew Keating, publisher of Cobalt Press. I'm here today to read from the foreword by Greg Olier, author of Fathermucker, for the upcoming Cobalt Press book, Four Fathers, by Ben Tanzer, B.L. Pavlek, Dave Housley, and Tom Williams. The Bible, of which there is an estimated six billion copies in print, takes great pains to relay the following information. Adam begat Seth, begat Enos, begat Canaan, begat Mahalaleel, begat Jared, begat Methuselah, begat Lamech, begat Noah, begat Shem. This genealogical aside is not confined to the Apocrypha, or buried in the Psalms. It is placed in the fifth chapter of Genesis, the very first book, right up front. Understand, for all its ubiquity, we know little definitively about the Bible. We don't know when it was written. We don't know where it was written. We don't even know who it was written by. What we do know is that Lamech was Jared's grandson and not the other way around. Clearly, patrilineal pedigree was important to the authors, whoever they were. Indeed, fatherhood is the most timeless topic in our literature. The earliest known human writing, as much older than the Bible as what to expect when you're expecting is newer, concerns the parentage of various Sumerian deities whose claims to absolute power revolved on that eternal question, who's your daddy? Fatherhood forms a thorough line in our great books, from Genesis to Hamlet to shit my dad says. Nothing is more elemental. And yet nothing is so old is more changed, and thus fraught with confusion. Since the introduction of the plow until, if we must pick an arbitrary marker, the birth of Francis Bean Cobain, the role of the father has been more or less unchanged. In Western society, there were good fathers and rotten ones, sure, but the role of the old man was the same. Only with this generation, Greg's generation, have fathers begun to stay at home in large numbers, to more actively care for their children, to co-parent, a turn that shows just how detached men used to be from the business of raising kids. The whole ball game is different now. These are not your father's fathers. The contributors to this remarkable collection, then, are wrestling with themes at once eternal and brand spanking new. B.L. Pavlek, Tom Williams, Ben Tanzer, Dave Housley. Four fathers writing in four different forms, poetry, stories, flash fiction, and novella, respectively, take on contemporary fatherhood in all its permutations, from the heavy, sympathizing with dads who take out their families, to the light, Justin Bieber is a really stupid name, and everything in between. These writerly dads reveal not only where we should be, but where we are. So please help us in publishing this great book, Four Fathers, by Dave Housley, Ben Tanzer, B.L. Pavlik, and Tom Williams. Every dollar counts. Thank you so much for all of your continued support of Cobalt Press.